Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. Interesting, Sag. I do have the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And the Two of Wands can represent a decision that needs to be made or a decision that you're waiting on. Um, but the Two of Wands really represents your future. This is you planning your future, um, putting a lot of thought into your future, coming up with ideas and plans. Um, so it's a wonderful energy. This can be you making a decision to walk down a new path. You have some major arcanas here. And the overall energy, Sag, is actually the tower. And the tower can represent either something that happens unexpectedly. This can be a change or, or some sort of um, news that comes in unexpectedly. This can be hap something happening unexpectedly or suddenly. Um, and then for other Sages, this can represent a significant life change that's taking place, a change in your life that is taking place that's going to affect um, you know, other areas of your life. The tower is very much a neutral card for me. It can swing in either direction and it really depends on the other energies and other cards around it. Um, the tower can also represent a building, a structure, a piece of property. Now, I did pull an additional card, additional clarity card, and what came out was the Queen of Wands. So this is your energy, Sag. This is you being extremely fiery and ambitious. Um, and the Queen of Wands, the Queen or the King of Wands for me represent action, um, ambition, drive, but action. So because I have the Queen of Wands that came out with the tower, I feel like for many of you, this is not something happening unexpectedly. This is something that you've initiated. This is something that a great change that you've taken um, or you've you know, chosen to, to go down this road and, and bring in this great change to your life, Sag. Um, now I do have the Five of Pentacles here. So this could be because you're feeling a lack. The Five of Pentacles can represent feeling a lack. This can be financially, but this can be, you know, in, in really any area of your life. This also can represent, you know, feeling left out in the cold or losing faith with something. Losing faith with maybe 
a partner, I have the two of cups directly next to the five of pentacles. And, you know, the man here on the five of pentacles is looking directly over here at the two of cups. So this can be, you know, some Sages losing faith with a partnership. This does not have to be romantic. This can be a business partnership. This can be, yes, a romantic partnership, but this can also be a friendship, a family relationship. Um, you could be losing faith with, with, you know, maybe a partner giving you a decision. And that could be why we have the two of wands here, because we also have the two of swords here, which can represent a decision, a decision that either you're waiting on or a decision that you are making yourself. I do have the knight of wands here, which can represent you moving to a new home. This is a very hasty energy where you're you're charging ahead, you're moving forward quickly. Things are happening quickly or suddenly or just, um, you know, it is a very hasty energy. Again, this can be you taking action, you moving towards making a decision maybe about your partnership or you moving to a new home. This could be you actually waiting on your partner for some sages. Um, this could be you feeling a lack here or losing faith with maybe your partner um, giving you a decision, maybe in regards to moving into a new home with the tower here. Again, the tower can represent a building, a home. Um, I feel like you want this. You're here um, with the tower. So this is you, you know, taking action or wanting to take action wanting this decision for some sages this is you you know very excited the queen of wands is very excited she's ambitious she's fiery um i feel like you want this this is you you're ready to move forward you're ready um but you're waiting or you're losing faith with a decision maybe you and your partner put an offer in on a home and you're waiting or you're waiting for a decision of some kind But this could be the week that, you know, you're getting that decision with the tower here. The tower comes in and this is a very significant energy. It's a powerful energy. So this is change coming in. So if you've been waiting on a decision for quite some time, expect a decision, I feel, this week. Um, and for again, for many of you, this is something to do with a home or something to do with a business. Um, I do have the queen of pentacles here. And she can represent a business a co or a career, business, finances. She represents security, the home. Um, and I do have the Hierophant directly underneath the Queen of Pentacles. So the Hierophant can represent, for me, this can be something legal that you're waiting on here with this decision. This can, this can involve lots of paperwork. The Hierophant represents having faith. So for some Sages, you might have been losing faith, but Spirit is telling you you need to have faith and trust your intuition because I have the High Priestess next to the Hierophant. And the High, the high Priestess is, you know, first of all, I think many of you are going to be very intuitive this week. Um, but this is also Spirit telling you you need to have faith. You need to trust your intuition on this. For some Sages, this this is going to be your your call. I feel feel like you're moving towards making a decision. Maybe this matter of this great change that's coming in is in your hands, and you're going to have to be the one that makes this decision. For some Sages, trust your intuition and know how empowered you are. You have the Hierophant here with the High Priestess, and on top of the High Priestess, I have the Magician. So this is you having all the tools and the resources you need to be successful with creating a beautiful new beginning for yourself. So this is you empowered. You have to keep the faith. You have to believe in yourself. Trust your intuition and know how empowered you are. You have everything you need. So, you know, don't don't be hesitant with making a decision. For some Sages, this could be you having to make this decision which I feel like if you have to make the decision, you're definitely going to. This is you taking action. This is great change coming in. And for some of you, I'm getting that this is going to lead you down an entirely new path. 
but I feel like you've thought about this a lot with the two of wands here. This is something you've really thought about a lot. Um, yeah, because it's a general reading for some Sages, this absolutely has to do with the home. With the Knight of Wands here, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles, this is something to do with the home. Um, you could have been waiting on a decision for your home or maybe a home that you're buying. And then for other Sages, this absolutely can have something to do with maybe a business partnership, a business. You know, this could even be um, something to do with the company that you work for. With the Hierophant, this can represent large companies. Maybe you own a large company or you work for a large company. But I feel like partnership is 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 big for a lot of Sagittarius's here. This is, you know, either maybe you and your partner um, waiting on a de decision to be able to move into this new home together, or this could be a business partner, something to do with your business. But I feel like there's a lot going on here. Um, you definitely have the energy for it, though. This is something you're up for. Again, I think you've thought about this a lot. Uh, maybe you've been waiting on this for quite some time, and that could be why we have the Five of Pentacles here, because maybe you're just, you know, simply losing faith with this, but then with this energy that's coming in, um, you know, this is short-lived. Um, you know, this is this is going to be a very strong energy that's coming in for you, and I feel like this is this is definitely not negative whatsoever. This is very positive. You know, you have everything you need to be successful with this. So this is actually wonderful. Let me pull you an additional guidance card for Sagittarius for this upcoming week. What does Sag need to know? Please show me. I feel like even, you know, this Queen of Pentacles could be your energy. You're grounded. You're making excellent business decisions. And this, and you know, she represents security. She represents financial abundance, security. I feel like that with this change happening, you're moving towards more security, Sag. Now I have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. And you also have the the um, high priestess here, Sag. So. Um, again, your spirituality could be, you know, a big factor this week for you. Trusting your intuition is going to be a must, I feel. You're going to be very intuitive this week. And sometimes when I pull this card, there is, you know, maybe someone around you that possibly could need some sort of um, guidance or help with a situation. So just know that. Um, but I feel like for you, this is spirituality. This is your intuition just being incredibly strong this week. So just know, um, yeah, just know to remain positive, have faith, trust your intuition, and know how empowered you are. This is this is some great energy coming in, okay? So I do hope you found this reading helpful, Sag. I hope you have a great week. Take care.